In this lesson, we will put the roof uh, elements onto the main building on our garage building over here. Let's go to our top of roof plan. Okay, let's do an underlay in there, view range underlay top of second, so we can see that second floor. And inevitably, we're going to extend this wall up as our parapet, but for the time being, we'll just kind of place our roof on the inside face of this wall. So we're going to draw a roof. So we're going to say, okay, we're on the roof level. And we're going to say roof, click on here. We go into sketch mode like the floor. And the only, we can use all of our tools. We have to pick our type and our overhang if we want it, some information. Um, but inevitably, we just need to trace around the inside face of that and pick our, wall, our roof type. So I'm going to pick on the the roof type that is listed here. Okay, I'm going to go, go down and yeah, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do is just pick edit type. And from there, I've got my preview on. I'm going to say warm roof concrete. Okay, and I'm going to hit my edit structure button. And for some reason, unlike walls, when I click on here, it doesn't highlight in here. I don't know why that is. But anyway, we've got the concrete 175, which is about uh, seven inches or eight inches of concrete. Let's make it a full eight inches. Let's go. Uh, let's go make that 250. Okay, it's going to make that thicker. Then we have a 50 millimeter lightweight concrete. Then we have a membrane layer. Then we have a, about a one inch asphalt bitumen, rigid insulation of 50, and a finished roofing ballast of about an inch and a half. So let's go to our because we're going to have a tapered flat roof for drainage. So let's go in here and let's make this. Let's make it 300, about a foot thick. That's at the outside edge, and it'll taper in as it goes to the, the floor, the roof drains. So we clicked on that, hit OK. So there's our numbers, and we hit OK. So we modified our roof structure, hit OK. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the Pick Walls tool, and I'm going to pick the wall pick, and it's going to use the wall edge as the... Um, edge of the roof. Now, the little set squares mean that it's sloped. I'm going to hover, tab, click. Hover, tab, click, and say no slope for you. Okay? Because it's flat. And it's at the top of roof with an offset of zero. And it's, you know, it, how thick is it? Let's have a look here. Edit structure. Total thickness is... 658 so just over two feet at the the outside edge thickest point hit okay hit okay now i can even go to a 3d view and i can see where that line is going and i hit finish that's it creates a roof up there now what i'm going to do is hover over this outside top wall hover tab click and tell those walls to go up to roof level two plus 600 so two feet above the roof, click out. Now I've got a little bit of a parapet. Oh, not no, the roof is two feet thick, so I gotta go even more. Hover. Um, yes, hover, tab, click, and let's make this up to 1200, which is going up a little higher. Now we have a two-foot parapet. Let's go look at our cross section. Click, click. Okay, there's a roof element up there. There's the top of our um, wall. There's our brick looking good. We're, we'll put a quick foundation wall in. Go to our 3D view. Looks good. And let's even do this from the top. Look, we're still in a 3D view, but I'm going to go like this and hit top. Now I'm in the top view. You see shift middle mouse button. Top view, but in a 3D view. Now watch what I'm going to pick on this roof, and I'm going to say add point. Okay. Now, oops, I forgot something. Let's hit escape, escape on the keyboard. One thing I forgot to do with the roof. Let's hover over the roof and click on it. Okay, let's go into edit type. Let's go into structure. And this insulation, I need to say variable. That way, if I add a low point, this is the layer that tapers. Everything else stays flat, parallel, but this will get tapered, the insulation layer. Now, forgot that step. Now, if you can't pick on this, it might be because your surfaces are, are not turned on. If this pick surface or face is turned off, you can't pick it. 
Okay, but if this is turned on, you can pick it. Or you can go to your 3D view, shift middle mouse and pick it from here. Okay, let's go back to our top view. Oh, let's turn it around, click. Okay, and I'm going to say add point. This is a relative elevation. So I'm going to say, you know, minus 50, two inches. So I'm going to say it drops two inches from the corner to here, to here, to here, and here. Escape, escape. Now I can do a window box if I want. Or, no, sorry, I'm just going to pick on the roof and I'm going to grab that little guy and drag him over a bit. Modify sub elements. Pick on here and pull them over. Pick on here. Oh, I grabbed the whole line. You have to kind of tab to grab that actual point. Okay. Again, pick on the roof, hitting escape. Pick on the roof, modify sub elements. If you just want to um, reset it, you say reset, boom, resets it back to flat. Start again. Add point. Minus 50, which is like two inches. So I'm dropping it two inches here. See if I can keep it straight this time. Here, here, here. Escape, escape. Okay, those are my tapering points. Shift, middle mouse. Okay, so technically, there's my low points right inside of here. And then we would have to have some roof drainage in there. If I go to my section, okay, and if you zoom in, you're actually going to see it, not very vividly, but you can see that it is kind of tapering. You can see that that insulation line is kind of jagged right here. Okay, that's because it's tapering to those low points. Uh, back to my 3D view. Okay, so there's the main building roof um, with our roof drains. Now let's do a save as, and keep forgetting, and project number 11 coming up.